Understanding Plush and Posh, an English Language Guide. Hello everyone, welcome to our English Language Learning Series. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of English phrases, focusing on plush and posh. These words are not just fun to say but also enrich your vocabulary and understanding of English culture. Let's unravel their meanings together. The word plush refers to something that is luxuriously soft or rich in texture. It's often used to describe fabrics or materials that feel good to the touch, like a plush carpet or a plush teddy bear. But it's not just limited to textures. Plush can also describe an environment or experience that is comfortably luxurious. For instance, a plush hotel room means it's not just cozy but also has a sense of luxury and comfort. Moving on to posh, this term is a bit more straightforward. Posh is a British English word used to describe something or someone as elegant, sophisticated, or upper class. If you say a restaurant is posh, you mean it's more than just fancy. It's likely expensive and frequented by well-to-do individuals. Posh can also refer to a style or behavior that is sophisticated or associated with the upper class. Now, how do we use these phrases in everyday conversation? When you combine them, saying something is plush and posh, you're describing it as luxuriously comfortable and elegantly sophisticated. It's a powerful way to express admiration for something that impresses you in both comfort and style. For instance, their new home is plush and posh, with lavish furniture and an elegant design. It's interesting to note that posh has a strong British connotation and might be less familiar in American English. In contrast, plush is widely used in both dialects. Additionally, these terms are often associated with luxury and wealth, so they can be perfect for describing high-end products, services, or experiences. I hope this video has given you a clearer understanding of the phrases plush and posh and how they add flavor to the English language. Remember, language learning is not just about grammar and vocabulary but also about understanding the cultural nuances behind words. Keep exploring and using these phrases in your conversations. Thanks for watching and see you in our next video.